That's so the cage right. is done, right, Dan? Yeah. Oh my God. We there we go. It's it's first, a man yeah. cage, though. Today on DT, Miata car part five. But Vin and Zach are at PRI. Hurts getting his wisdom teeth pulled out. Uh, so Larry's gonna start doing some hosting duties. Monica. Question. So Dan. What are you doing today? Today I'm gonna try and make it a little more progress on the cage. We're, we'll do the eight pillar bars. I have to do some more boxing, which sucks. But I'm gonna do the eight pillar bars, give it kind of a nice lean, make it look aggressive, and uh, let's see how far we can get, pretty much. I already chopped this stuff off, so it didn't film. <laughs> and then removed the slower uh, box yep. and everything else, the heater. Choppy, can't yeah. chop. Yeah. Well, first things first, disconnect the ECU, because oh, yeah. that's what Who you gotta that? do when you're welding. Part five, we're gonna make it actually look like a roll cage. It even comes with a handle already. Hang on, Larry, stop, stop, stop. Oh my god. I'm just gonna have it uncomfortably just on Tato's face for a while. Um, uh, to stay woke. Don't really? fetish shame. Oh my god. I could drive it from up here while dude steers from here. No, why don't we just give another steering wheel up here and go into the rack, and oh, then yeah. you can steer and drive. I like that. You Plus, drive. look, look. There's already a handle here for me to hold on to. Yeah, that's yeah. a good idea. That doesn't get warm at all. No, no, no. Yeah, that's just wear a good. glove. Wear a glove. That's good. That's so the cage is right. done, right, Dan? Yeah. Oh, my God. We here we go. It's it's a man there. cage, though. Got real awkward, didn't it, Dan? Got real I'm just awkward, gonna though. start working. Yeah. All right, the boys are gone. I uh, took the liberty to start uh, already and get some of the bondo out of here, but it's already been repaired. You can see like they welded that up and there's really thick bondo to grind that down. So now I'm gonna make some plates, which will be a time lapse because you don't wanna watch, it's boring. <laughs> Quick little template here. Um, what I did to make this is just take a piece of paper, hold it here, and run the marker right along this area so I could get that contour. And I made four pieces just the same so I could do both sides. And then I'll just set that in. That's a pretty good fitment there. And then just box the top. And that will all be welded up and then obviously an end cap here. I ended up just getting everything boxed. I know I spared you from that, so you don't have to watch everything getting boxed in. But now I'm gonna shoot uh, the A-pillar bars, uh, start getting the rest of the cage going so everything can come together quickly, and hopefully it doesn't take too long and we make a lot of progress today. All right, so as a first step, I wanna measure the length, or close enough to it. Looks like it's just about six foot-ish. So I'm gonna shoot a little over six foot, we'll do six five. And uh, to be honest with you, usually you have a frame here to kind of guide you on building an A-pillar bar. I don't have that. So I'm going to be honest with you and I'm just going to eyeball it. <laughs> I'm just going to shoot for what I think looks cool. I want a bend to start about right here. So if I start right here and I kind of want this cool like windshield look to it, lean it back a little bit and then go to that point. So I'm going to start at this point um, when I measure my bends. First I'm going to... Measure the length. Just said it was just over six foot. I'm gonna do six five, try to be safe. I always like to cut everything a little bit long, as I mentioned before, just to be safe and have a scrap piece if I need it. So for the first part, I kind of want just an idea of where I want the first bend. And like I said, I, I wanted to start to bend about here, just so it kind of meets up here and doesn't look too high or too low. And uh, it looks like 16 inches is kind of where I want to be. From there, I will uh, get my test piece, which I've bent before, and it shows where the bend starts. So I can kind of measure from there and see where I want to put it. So I said I wanted 16 inches. That's where I want the bend. But if I was to start the bend at 16 inches, it would be too high. So I want the bend to be about 16 inches, so I'll shoot back a little bit. Looks like it's pretty close to where to start. I'm actually gonna shoot for 15 inches. 
because that's about where the bend should start. And I'll have a little bit more here to cut off if I need to. So there's my bend line for the first bend. So I made this really quickly just to show you that you can make an angle finder out of anything. Rob has a bunch of fancy stuff here that's really cool, but this is just one inch strap. What I did was drill the hole through it at the end, put just a little bolt. I cut them to one foot, both of them, and bolted it together. So what this does is I can kind of squeeze it tight and find the angle of what I think would look cool in this situation. Use that as kind of a reference to go off of for the first bend and shoot close to it and from there we'll see where we're gonna go. So I have my mark here to start my bend and I have my angle finder that I just made. So basically I'm gonna put that at the pivot point and kind of make it match. This is gonna bend around. I'm gonna stop somewhere in the point here and just kind of eyeball it from where I think it should look cool. So I've made the first bend pretty close to where this is. I overbend it just a little bit for the spring back, which when I release this, this is gonna come back just a hair. So it's pretty close to where I wanted the bend to start, right in here. And that'll be the first start to our A-pillar bar. Ideally, we want this bar to be in line with this one. That makes everything really strong. It just can't bend anywhere else. If you put it off to the side, this creates a weak point and a weak point here. That's why we want that to land right about here. Now, I don't want this to go over the driver's head because this is where we're gonna be, so I'll end up putting another bend here down the line, I, I would assume. But right now, what I'm trying to figure out is this right here. What's gonna look good and not be in the way of the driver? This is where I want the bend to start. So again, I'll grab my test piece, and this time it'll be a bit more aggressive. So I don't know if I'll wanna line up here. I may have to go back just a little bit. And this is just kind of a test shot. If it works out on the first try, cool, and I'll stick it. But if it doesn't, then we know where to measure from and where to go uh, for the next piece. Shoot for an even three off of that. That's just a guess. Hopefully this looks cool. There's the length I want it, and then this is just kind of designating Keeping it straight, now we bend. So you can see we got a pretty good idea of where we want to be. A little long on the length. It's fine because I'd like to put a bend up here as well. The height and angle looks about right to me. I have a little rake to it, which usually in, inside of a car, it's going to be more up and boxy, but we don't have that. I wanted to create kind of a, a rake to make it look cool and not just a box. I want to keep a little distance from here so I can get a good weld around there and then probably gusset this section in. So I'll make a measurement where I think I'd like to have the bend here. Just taking a guess of what I think would be aesthetically pleasing for me to have a bend to come in here. So I'd like to have it come out a little bit and then bend in this section here to meet up there. I'm just gonna draw it all the way around so I can see the whole bend. Otherwise I'll bend it upside down or backwards. You wanna you want hang with that? Yeah, yeah. You wanna hold it? Yeah, which way we go. Do you have, you just kinda like eyeball it or do you have like an exact? It. Oh, okay. I'm actually eyeballing it. I have no idea what I'm doing right now. I was gonna say, do you have like an exact like degree radius that you use? You like measurements? Usually I do. Inside of the car, I do. But right now, I'm just kinda making it up, seeing what I think looks cool. Okay. Because we really don't have anything uh, to work inside of. So, this is more or less a test piece. See that? Nice and straight. So, basically, you took a line of sight measurement. Like all of them are line of sight, yeah. Okay. And if, so, it, it, if it doesn't line up, do you just take it back to this thing or you kind of just got to start all over again? I try to underbend everything so I can leave a little bit of room. To bend a little more. Okay. Now, if I over bend it, hopefully I only do it by a little bit, and I'll grab something really heavy like a lift pad and kind of hang on it, and you can bring it back. But really, you can't take back a bend. So I always undershoot rather than overshoot. 
Ah, now we're talking. Shut up, I got it stuck. Look, if you want, we got impacts, we got a sawzall there. You can get this thing out, no problem. Let's see how good my guess is. Ladies and gentlemen. It's not too bad. You think, Zach? Now, let's, let's make sure we got that bad boy straight up and down right over there, right? Yeah, I want that to look nice. Not too bad. I need to hold it. Here. I'll get it right here. Exactly. Sweet, just send it. Now, is it, does it matter that it's not like totally flat right there at the bottom? Uh, yeah, it does, but it's not because it's on, on top of it. Oh, uh, uh. Yeah, so after that, it's cut and dropped down. This should sit a little more flush. I like this, so I'm just gonna cut this shit up. I'm gonna cut it off. I feel confident in it. I'm gonna line it up with that bar, make kind of a cut line. Uh, I think we got it in our desired location. Enough to pack it up anyway and make another one. Hopefully the same, 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 same shit. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out I like the first one. So I built another one exactly like it. Basically just did the same steps and the only thing I had to change was where it bent up top. This is just laid out completely flat. Like normally inside of a car these bends would be a little bit different. But for this purpose, we just did them completely flat. And the only bend that changes up top here, and the notch is relatively the same. Uh, so now I'm just gonna tack them up and weld them and put them in. Because I just wanna see this thing done. Good, weld it up, done. So let's see, we gotta get an update from Dan here. Holy shit, did you start working out, bro? Yeah. Man, you grew the beard out even longer. A little taller. Nice. You fit. What'd I you do to this? What did you do to this from one day? I caught on fire once, all right? It was hot. Now, all right, so you fit, dude. this is Zach. He's from HRD, Hoonigan Racing <laughs> Division, for those of y'all that don't know that, which you, which you should, you should know this. All right, so give us an update, man. What did, what did we do on this since we last saw you? Did the dreaded boxes. As you guys are so willing to say in the comments. And then I uh, built some eight pillar bars to give us some uh, shape of the vehicle. So lean a little bit forward. And as you can see, most guys Zach's size do not fit in a Miata, but he fits in this Miata. Can you, can you just stand next to Zach so we can just get like a... Here, this is your typical Miata driver right here. Hey, bud. <laughs> Zach is a conservative 5'7". Wait, what, what is this, by the way? Uh, this is the coolest shirt I think I've ever owned in my life. Are these our Christmas I've sweaters? never, ever been so excited to get a shirt. Damn. I was the first person through the door waiting for this shirt. It's a sweater! It's a sweater! Put the info on the screen where they can buy this. So on that note, stay tuned for another Miata update while we build a death card, AKA also possibly a Pike's Peak thing, shark card. Shark card. Like shark is in like- Shark. Like, like shit your pants on accident when you like accident. chance a fart. Shark card. You know what I mean? Because that's exactly what's gonna happen when this is ready to go. All right. Up top. That's a wrap! Oh, you got little snowflake wheels? Snowflake wheels. Shee. Spark plugs. Shee. Steering wheels, pistons. Skr